categorical variables in Stata takes a little bit more work. The example we're going to look at is categorizing total cholesterol based on the guidelines provided by the American Heart Association. So there's three categories. Normal is less than 200. Borderline high is 200 to 239 and high is defined as 240. To create this categorized cholesterol variable, we're again going to use the generate command in Stata. When I create categorical variables, I begin by generating a variable where I assign everyone to have a missing value. So let's call it cholesterol cat is defined as missing. So everyone in the data set, all thousand people, get assigned a missing value. Now I go in and manually plug in category values uh, according to the guidelines provided by the American Heart Association. To change the value of a variable, you use the replace command. So I'm going to replace our cholesterol category variable with a 1 if tot call 1 is less than 200. So 197 people got assigned a 1. We repeat this command, but now we're going to assign them a 2 if they're in the borderline high category. So they would have total cholesterol greater than or equal to 200 and less than 240. Finally, we need to assign the high cholesterol category. We're going to define it as 3, and it's going to contain the people with total cholesterol greater than or equal to 240. It's really important to remember in Stata that missing data is assigned a really, really large number. So when you're defining categorical variables, you need to explicitly tell Stata to keep the missing values as missing. The way that I typically do this is to say, restrict to those with total cholesterol greater than or equal to 240, and they need to be non-missing values. So TOCOL1 needs to be less than missing. Now if I run tabulate call cat, I see that this new categorical variable is defined for only 992 people, and there are eight people with missing cholesterol. If I were to repeat the exact same procedure that I just did, but for the last category, if I forgot to exclude those missing values, you now see that, that our categorical variable is defined for all 1,000 people, and that the eight people with missing cholesterol values actually got thrown into the third category, as having high cholesterol. This is a very easy mistake to make in terms of data management and status. Be very careful to make sure that you're coding missing data as missing when you generate categorical variables. So once we have coded our categorical cholesterol the, white, the right way, we also should go in and check and make sure it looks like we did the, th the right thing. One way to do this is to run by sort our categorical variable and just summarize the original total cholesterol at baseline. I see that for those people that have value 1, their maximum cholesterol is 199, like we hoped. For those people with borderline high cholesterol, they have values that range between 200 and 239. And for the people with high cholesterol, they all have values of cholesterol that are greater than 240. So it appears that we've coded our categorical variable the correct way. Typically, I manually code my categorical variables, but if you're in a hurry and you want a shortcut, you can use the egen cut command. I'm going to define a second call cat variable. We'll call it call cat2, and define it as a cut of total cholesterol 1 at baseline, and we're going to cut it at 0, 200, 240, and a really big number. Using this cut command, Stata automatically assigns the missing values of total cholesterol 1 to missing in the categorical variable. And if I compare colcat2 to my original variable using tabulate, I see that they've done the exact same thing in creating a categorical variable. However, the egen command does assign weird value labels to colcat based on whatever threshold you defined as your cut points. But this is a, short, a shortcut for coding categorical variables in Stata. But don't use any shortcuts until you're very familiar with how Stata works. Another good trick to know in Stata is the xtile command. If I type dbxtile, the window pops up. What xtile does is it creates uh, quartiles of a continuous variable. So if I want to create a variable that's quartiles of total cholesterol at exam 1, the easiest way to do this is via the xtile command. Number of quantiles, if I want quartiles, I need to increase that to 4. 
and you can see that es essentially Stata through the Xtile command divides total, total cholesterol at exam one into four quantiles where each quantile has approximately the same relative frequency of people in that category.